in the heart of North Texas. The small town of Denton holds a chilling secret, an eerie legend that has haunted the area for decades. This is the story of the Goatman, a terrifying figure said to stalk the old Alton Bridge, also known by locals as Goatman's Bridge. The legend tells of a creature, half man and half goat, who roams the area seeking revenge on those who wronged him in life. The origins of this legend are steeped in tragedy and injustice, rooted in the true horrors of lynchings that plagued Texas in the 1930s. At the center of this tale is a man named Oscar Washburn, a black goat farmer who earned respect and recognition for his honest business dealing in meat, cheese, and other products. But in a time when racial hatred simmered beneath the surface of society, Washburn's success made him a target. One fateful night in August 1938, a group of Klansmen, driven by hatred and envy, kidnapped Washburn from his home near the old Alton Bridge. They dragged him to the bridge, placed a noose around his neck, and threw him over the side. But when they looked down to see his lifeless body, they found the noose empty, with Washburn nowhere to be found. In a rage, they returned to his home and brutally murdered his family. Since that night, the legend of the Goatman has grown, with the locals claiming that the spirit of Oscar Washburn haunts the bridge and the surrounding woods. It is said that if you cross the bridge at night without headlights, as the Klansmen did, you will be met by the Goatman himself, seeking vengeance for the wrongs done to him and his family. The old Alton Bridge, once a simple passage for travelers, has become a place of fear and fascination, drawing in those who are brave or foolish, enough to seek out the ghostly presence that lingers there. This is just the beginning of the tale, a dark introduction to a legend that has left a mark on the history and folklore of Texas. As we delve deeper into the story, we will uncover more about the haunted history of Goatman's Bridge and the eerie encounters that have kept this urban legend alive for generations. As the years passed, the legend of the Goatman grew, weaving itself into the very fabric of the local community. Old Alton Bridge, once a simple iron structure, became synonymous with fear and the supernatural. Locals began to share stories of strange occurrences and ghostly sightings around the bridge, each tale adding to the eerie reputation of the area. The Goatman was no longer just a tragic figure, he had become a symbol of vengeance and a terrifying reminder of the horrors that had taken place on that bridge. The bridge itself became a focal point for those intrigued by the paranormal. Stories of the Goatman began to surface in greater numbers, with people claiming to have encountered the ghostly figure late at night. Some said they saw a pair of glowing red eyes staring at them from the darkness, while others heard the sound of hooves clattering on the bridge's wooden planks. The most chilling tales spoke of a large, shadowy figure with the body of a man and the head of a goat, standing silently in the middle of the bridge, blocking the path of anyone who dared to cross. As word spread, the legend of the Goatman attracted thrill-seekers and ghost hunters alike. People from all over began to visit Old Alton Bridge, hoping to catch a glimpse of the supernatural being. The bridge's reputation as a haunted site grew, and it wasn't long before it became known as one of the most haunted places in Texas. The combination of the bridge's dark history and the tales of ghostly encounters gave the legend an undeniable air of authenticity, making it a prime location for those interested in the paranormal. But the Goatman wasn't just a ghost story told around campfires. For the people of Denton and the surrounding areas, the legend was a very real part of their heritage, a haunting reminder of the past. The bridge, with its weathered planks and rusted iron, stood as a silent witness to the atrocities committed there. And as the story of the Goatman continued to be passed down, from generation to generation, the line between legend and reality began to blur, making the haunting presence of the Goatman all the more believable. In this way, the Goatman became more than just a tale of revenge. He became a guardian of the bridge, a spectral sentinel, ensuring that the horrors of the past would not be forgotten. The haunted reputation of Goatman's Bridge solidified its place in Texas folklore, 
drawing in curious visitors and reminding locals of the dark history that still lingers in the shadows of the old iron structure. As we continue this journey, we will explore the specific locations tied to the legend and the chilling encounters that have occurred at Goatman's Bridge, where the line between the living and the dead seems to disappear. Old Alton Bridge, now better known as Goatman's Bridge, is the epicenter of the Goatman legend. But it's not just the bridge itself that carries the weight of the story. The surrounding areas, dense with trees and winding trails, are also steeped in eerie tales that make this part of Texas a hotspot for paranormal activity. The narrow, overgrown paths that lead to the bridge seem to carry an unnatural stillness, as if the land itself remembers the horrors that took place there. One of the most infamous locations is the bridge itself, particularly when approached from the old dirt road that winds through the forest. Visitors report an overwhelming sense of dread as they near the bridge, often describing the feeling of being watched. The rusted iron structure with its creaking wooden planks adds to the unnerving atmosphere. Those who dare to cross the bridge at night, especially without headlights, have recounted terrifying encounters. Some claim to have seen the shadowy figure of the Goatman standing in the middle of the bridge his glowing red eyes piercing the darkness. Others have heard disembodied voices, whispering warnings to turn back. But the bridge isn't the only place where the Goatman is said to appear. The surrounding woods, thick with brush and twisted trees, are also home to the legend. Hikers have reported seeing the Goatman lurking among the trees, watching them with his eerie gaze. The sound of hooves crunching on the gravel path, or the distant bleeding of a goat, often precedes these sightings. In some cases, visitors have heard the chilling cry of a man in pain echoing through the woods, only to find no one there when they investigate. One particularly frightening encounter occurred near the creek bed beneath the bridge. A group of friends, intrigued by the legend, decided to explore the area late one night. As they walked along the creek, they noticed a strange fog rolling in, despite the clear night sky. The air grew cold, and an uneasy feeling settled over them. Suddenly, they heard the sound of hooves behind them. When they turned around, they were met with the sight of a large, shadowy figure standing on the opposite bank of the creek. The figure, with the body of a man and the head of a goat, stared at them for a moment before disappearing into the mist. Terrified, the group fled the area and vowed never to return. Another well-known spot is a clearing near the bridge, where it's said that the Goatman's presence is strongest. People have reported seeing strange lights hovering above the clearing at night, accompanied by the smell of burning wood, as if a fire had recently been extinguished. The clearing, once used for gatherings and possibly rituals, is now avoided by most locals, who claim that the Goatman appears there on moonless nights, pacing back and forth as if guarding something precious. These specific locations, with their dark history and unsettling encounters, make Goatman's Bridge a place where the line between legend and reality seems to blur. The stories of those who have experienced the Goatman firsthand are enough to make even the most skeptical person think twice before venturing near Old Alton Bridge after dark. As we continue, we'll delve further into more real haunted encounters and stories that have solidified the legend of the Goatman as one of the most terrifying urban legends in Texas. As the legend of the Goatman has grown, so too have the number of eerie encounters that have been reported at Goatman's Bridge and its surrounding areas. These stories, passed down through generations and whispered among locals, have cemented the Goatman as a haunting presence in Texas folklore. Each account adds another layer of fear to the already chilling reputation of the area. One of the most unsettling encounters involves a group of paranormal investigators who visited the bridge in the early 2000s. Armed with cameras, audio recorders, and other equipment, they hope to capture evidence of the supernatural. As they set up their gear on the bridge, the night was calm, 
with only the sounds of the nearby creek and rustling leaves filling the air. But as midnight approached, the atmosphere shifted. The temperature dropped suddenly, and a thick, unnatural fog began to roll in, obscuring their view. The team reported hearing distant, muffled voices coming from the woods, though they could see no one around. Then the sound of hooves clattering on the bridge's wooden planks echoed through the mist. One investigator felt a sudden push from behind, nearly knocking him off the bridge. When they reviewed their footage later, they discovered that one of their cameras had captured a brief glimpse of a shadowy figure with glowing red eyes standing at the far end of the bridge. The team left the area shaken, convinced that they had come face to face with the goat man. Another harrowing experience involved a young couple who decided to explore the bridge one summer night. They had heard the stories, but were skeptical and eager to debunk the myths. As they walked across the bridge, they joked about the legend, dismissing it as nothing more than a spooky tale. But their laughter quickly turned to fear when they reached the middle of the bridge. The air grew heavy, and an overwhelming sense of dread washed over them. They suddenly heard a deep, guttural growl that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. Paralyzed with fear, they saw a large, shadowy figure emerge from the darkness, blocking their path. The figure appeared to have the horns of a goat and the body of a man. Without thinking, they turned and ran back the way they had come, not stopping until they were safely in their car. They later described the experience as the most terrifying moment of their lives. Locals, too, have their own chilling tales. An older man who had lived in the area his whole life recounted a story from his youth. He and his friends had dared each other to spend the night near the bridge, hoping to prove their bravery. They set up camp in the woods, not far from the bridge, and as the night wore on, they began to hear strange noises. Branches snapping, distant footsteps, and the faint sound of what seemed like laughter as they huddled together in fear, they saw a pair of glowing red eyes staring at them from the darkness. The eyes moved closer, and the sound of hooves grew louder. Terrified, the boys fled, leaving their belongings behind. The man said that he never went near the bridge again after that night. One of the most persistent stories is that of a woman who visited the bridge in search of answers. Her son had gone missing in the area years earlier, and she believed the goatman was responsible. Desperate for closure, she went to the bridge alone one night, calling out to her son. She claimed that as she stood on the bridge, she heard his voice, faint and distant, calling back to her from the woods. But when she ventured into the trees, she was met with silence. As she turned to leave, she saw a figure standing in the shadows watching her. The figure was tall, with horns atop its head, and it radiated a sense of malevolence. She ran back to her car, convinced that she had encountered the goat man and that he had taken her son. These stories, whether passed down as warnings or experienced firsthand, have only strengthened the goatman's grip on the imagination of those who live near Goatman's Bridge. The fear and unease that the legend inspires are very real, making Old Alton Bridge a place where the past and present collide in a way that is as haunting as it is unforgettable. As we conclude this journey, we'll reflect on what makes the legend of the Goatman endure and why it continues to captivate those who dare to explore its dark history. The story of the, the Goatman at Old Alton Bridge has endured for generations, becoming more than just a local legend. It's a symbol of the dark history and unresolved fears that linger in the region. The haunting tale of Oscar Washburn and the terrifying encounters reported over the years speak to the human tendency to seek explanations for the unexplainable, to personify our deepest fears in the form of monsters and spirits. As the years have passed, the legend of the Goatman has taken on a life of its own. It has become a rite of passage for thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts who visit the bridge in hopes of experiencing something otherworldly. Some go out of curiosity, others out of disbelief. But nearly everyone who ventures to Old Alton Bridge leaves with a story to tell. Whether it's a fleeting shadow, seen out of the corner of the eye, a sudden chill in the air, 
or the unsettling feeling of being watched. What makes the Goatman legend so compelling is not just the ghostly figure itself, but the layers of history and emotion that underlie the tale. The tragic story of Oscar Washburn and his family. The terror of those who claim to have encountered the Goatman and the eerie atmosphere of the bridge all contribute to a sense of unease that's hard to shake. The legend taps into the universal fear of the unknown and the lingering sense of injustice from the past, reminding us that some wounds never fully heal. Old Alton Bridge stands today as both a relic of a bygone era and a gateway to the unknown. Though no longer used for its original purpose, it remains a place where the past and present intersect, where history and legend blur together. The dense woods, the dark waters of Hickory Creek, and the isolated location all add to the bridge's mystique, making it a place where reality and the supernatural seem to coexist. For those who believe, the Goatman is a restless spirit, forever bound to the bridge where he met his tragic end, seeking revenge or perhaps justice. For others, the legend is a cautionary tale, a reminder of the dark chapters in our history that we must never forget. And for some, it's simply a ghost story, an entertaining and eerie tale to share around a campfire. Yet whether one believes in the goat man or not, there's no denying the powerful hold that the legend has on those who hear it. The fear it inspires is real, rooted in both the horrors of the past and the mysteries of the unknown. The Goatman's Bridge remains a place of fascination and dread, where the lines between myth and reality are forever blurred. As we conclude this exploration of the Goatman legend, we are left with a sense of awe at how stories like these endure. They remind us that the past is never truly gone, that it lingers in the places we live, in the tales we tell, and in the fears we cannot quite escape. Whether the Goatman is real or imagined, his story lives on, haunting the bridge and the imaginations of all who dare to cross it. In the misty peaks of the Santa Lucia Mountains in California, an eerie legend has persisted for centuries. The Dark Watchers are shadowy figures, often described as tall, dark silhouettes, standing silently on the ridges, cloaked in mystery. With their featureless faces and wide-brimmed hats, they appear only at twilight or dawn, watching over the valleys and travelers below, their forms often outlined against the fading or rising sun. As soon as someone tries to approach them, they vanish into thin air, leaving behind nothing but an unsettling feeling of having been observed. These mysterious figures have haunted the minds of explorers, hikers, and locals alike. Dating back to the early Spanish settlers of the 1700s, these strange beings were known as Los Vigilantes Oscuros, or the Dark Watchers. Over the years, many people have reported seeing these silent watchers, standing motionless, almost like sentinels guarding the mountain range. Their origins remain unknown, and no one has ever come close enough to understand who or what they truly are. Some say the Dark Watchers are simply illusions, tricks played by the mind when exhaustion or isolation takes over. Others believe they are ancient spirits, forever watching over the land. Whatever the truth may be, the legend has only grown stronger with time, passed down through generations, adding to the air of mystery that surrounds the rugged, windswept mountains of California. The legend of the Dark Watchers has become one of the most famous haunted stories in the state, drawing curious adventurers and paranormal enthusiasts to the Santa Lucia Mountains, hoping for a glimpse of these elusive figures. But no matter how much time passes or how many sightings occur, the Dark Watchers remain as enigmatic as ever, their haunting presence casting a shadow over the beautiful yet eerie landscape. As stories of the Dark Watchers spread throughout California, their reputation as one of the state's most haunting and mysterious urban legends only grew. The Santa Lucia Mountains, a rugged and remote range that stretches along the central coast, 
became a focal point for these eerie sightings. For centuries, locals and travelers alike have reported the unnerving feeling of being watched from the mountaintops, especially around twilight or dawn. The legend speaks of the dark watchers appearing in moments of solitude, when the mountains are cloaked in mist and the sky is fading into dusk. Spanish settlers were among the first to record their encounters with these mysterious figures, dubbing them Los Vigilantes Oscuros. They believed these shadowy beings were more than just hallucinations, but rather powerful spirits tied to the land. Over time, this belief passed down to later generations, and sightings of the Dark Watchers continued. People began to avoid traveling through the mountains alone at night, fearful of being silently observed by these looming entities. Some even warned that approaching the Dark Watchers would lead to one's disappearance. Despite the mounting fear, the Dark Watchers maintained their silent vigil, watching over the mountain range without ever interacting with those they observed. No one knew why they appeared or what their purpose was, but their presence was undeniable. Legends and folklore from the area suggested that these beings had been in the mountains for hundreds, if not thousands of years, and that they were somehow connected to the land itself. Throughout the 20th century, the legend of the Dark Watchers caught the attention of American writers, further cementing their place in California's haunted history. John Steinbeck, a famous author whose mother grew up in the region, mentioned the Dark Watchers in his work adding his voice to the countless others who had heard of or encountered these strange figures. But even as the legend grew, the mystery remained. Were the Dark Watchers spirits, guardians, or simply an illusion created by the mind? No one could say for certain, but their reputation as a chilling part of California's paranormal lore persisted, drawing even more people to seek out these figures in the mist. As the legend of the Dark Watchers grew, so did the accounts of eerie encounters from those who ventured into the Santa Lucia Mountains. Hikers, travelers, and even locals have shared stories of seeing these tall, shadowy figures standing still on the mountain ridges, silently observing those below. The sightings often occur around twilight or dawn when the light is low and the mountains are shrouded in fog or mist. It's at these moments that the Dark Watchers are most likely to appear, dark silhouettes outlined against the dimming sky. One of the most famous locations for Dark Watcher sightings is along the Big Sur coast, where the steep cliffs meet the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Hikers exploring the trails in this area have reported feeling uneasy as though being watched, only to look up and see a tall figure standing motionless on the ridge. The figures are always described the same way, towering human-like shapes dressed in long cloaks, often wearing wide-brimmed hats and holding walking sticks. Some witnesses have even claimed that the dark watchers seem to blend into the shadows, almost becoming a part of the landscape itself. In one chilling account from the 1960s, a local high school principal was hiking in the Santa Lucia Mountains when he spotted a dark figure standing on a rock surveying the area. At first, he thought it might be another hiker, but when he called out to his group, the figure vanished before his eyes. This encounter, like many others, left the witness with an overwhelming sense of dread. The principal later shared his story with others, adding to the growing collection of sightings and experiences involving the Dark Watchers. Some reports even come from Native Americans who lived in the region long before Spanish settlers arrived. Although no direct mention of the Dark Watchers exists in their recorded folklore, many believe that the Chumash people, who inhabited the area for thousands of years, were also aware of these mysterious beings. Some say that the Dark Watchers are spirits of ancient ancestors, watching over the land and its inhabitants. The locations of these sightings are varied but tend to cluster around the highest peaks and most remote areas of the Santa Lucia Range. Whether it's the eerie quiet of Big Sur's coastal cliffs or the misty ridges of Mount Manuel, those who have seen the Dark Watchers speak of their encounters with a mixture of awe and fear. It's as if these figures are part of the mountains themselves, silently watching, always out of reach. 
and forever disappearing when someone tries to get close. As stories of the Dark Watchers spread, more and more people came forward with their own chilling experiences. The sightings were not limited to a specific group. Hikers, travelers, and locals alike began reporting eerie encounters with these shadowy figures. What makes the legend of the Dark Watchers so unsettling is the consistency of the stories. The tall, cloaked figures, the brimmed hats, and the walking sticks, always seen from a distance and always disappearing when approached. One well-known encounter comes from a Monterey resident in the early 20th century. While out hiking in the Santa Lucia Mountains, he noticed a tall figure standing on a ridge, looking out over the horizon. As he walked closer to get a better view, the figure suddenly vanished into thin air. Startled, he scanned the ridge, but there was no sign of the mysterious watcher. This account, like so many others, highlights the fleeting and elusive nature of the Dark Watchers. They are always there, watching, but never close enough to be fully understood. Other hikers have reported similar experiences, often describing an overwhelming sense of being watched before they even spot the figures. One man hiking near Big Sur recalled how he was suddenly overcome with unease. Looking up, he saw a tall figure silhouetted against the evening sky. Frozen in place, he could only watch as the figure stood motionless, observing him. The hiker's fear mounted as he slowly backed away, never taking his eyes off the figure. But as soon as he blinked, the Dark Watcher was gone, leaving behind only a lingering feeling of dread. More recent encounters have been shared online by outdoor enthusiasts and paranormal investigators who ventured into the Santa Lucia Mountains in search of the Dark Watchers. Some bring cameras, hoping to capture evidence of these beings, but the results are almost always the same, nothing. The Dark Watchers are said to vanish the moment they are noticed, slipping into the mist or blending into the shadows of the mountains. This elusive behavior has only added to their mystique. There are also those who claim to have encountered the Dark Watchers in different parts of California, although the Santa Lucia Mountains remain the epicenter of the sightings. Some people have reported seeing them in the more remote areas of the state, such as Mount Mingus and Mount Graham in Arizona. In each case, the descriptions are eerily similar. Tall, shadowy figures standing on ridges or hills, staring out at the landscape, as if silently guarding the wilderness, for many, these encounters are more than just ghost stories or urban legends. They are deeply unsettling experiences that leave witnesses questioning what they have seen. Some suggest that the Dark Watchers are spirits or guardians of the land, while others believe they are nothing more than illusions caused by the play of light and shadows. Yet for those who have experienced these encounters firsthand, there is little doubt that something strange and unexplainable exists in the mountains of California. The legend of the Dark Watchers endures, fed by the mysterious sightings that continue to this day. The mystery of the Dark Watchers has persisted for centuries, and despite countless sightings, they remain as elusive and enigmatic as ever. The legend has grown from whispered tales among Spanish settlers and Native Americans to a widely known urban legend that still captures the imagination of those who venture into the Santa Lucia Mountains. Yet, despite all the encounters, no one has ever been able to get close enough to truly understand what these shadowy figures are. Many theories have been proposed to explain the phenomenon. Some believe the Dark Watchers are the spirits of ancient guardians, watching over the land and its travelers. Others suggest they are manifestations of the mind, hallucinations brought on by isolation, exhaustion, or the eerie silence of the mountains. Scientists often point to natural explanations like the Brock Inspector, an optical illusion that can create large shadowy figures when the sun casts a hiker's shadow onto mist or low clouds. While this may explain some sightings, the consistent descriptions of the watchers and their sudden disappearances leave room for more supernatural speculation. For those who have seen the dark watchers, 
No scientific explanation can fully capture the fear and awe they felt during their encounters. Witnesses often describe a deep sense of unease, as if they were intruding on something ancient and powerful. The figures seem to exist outside the realm of human understanding, appearing only when least expected and vanishing just as quickly. The sense of the unknown, of something beyond our control, is what gives the legend its haunting power. As the years go by, the dark watchers continue to silently haunt the peaks and ridges of the Santa Lucia Mountains. Their presence a reminder of the mysteries that still linger in the wild places of the world. Whether they are spirits, illusions, or something else entirely, the Dark Watchers remain a part of California's haunted folklore, watching over those who dare to enter their domain. In the end, the legend of the Dark Watchers leaves us with more questions than answers. Why do they appear only at twilight or dawn? Why do they vanish when approached? Are they merely tricks of the light, or could they be something far more mysterious? The truth may never be known, and perhaps that's what keeps the legend alive. The fear of the unknown, and the haunting possibility that we are not as alone in the mountains as we might think. For now, the Dark Watchers remain, as they always have, standing tall in the shadows, watching from the mountaintops. If you ever find yourself hiking through the Santa Lucia Mountains at twilight, take a moment to look up. You might just see them, silently observing from the horizon. But remember, don't get too close, or they may vanish into the mist, leaving you with nothing but the unsettling feeling that something was watching you all along. Pyramid Lake, nestled in the heart of Nevada, is a place of stunning beauty. Located just 40 miles northeast of Reno, this expansive lake, with its crystal clear waters and striking tufa rock formations, is a sight to behold. But beyond its serene surface lies a history steeped in eerie legends and unsettling mysteries. Pyramid Lake, once a part of the ancient Lake Lahontan that covered much of Nevada during the Pleistocene era, is more than just a picturesque body of water. It is a place where beauty and darkness coexist, where ancient tales of curses, lost spirits, and otherworldly creatures have been passed down through generations. The lake, named after the large pyramidal rock formations that rise dramatically from its waters, is one of the deepest in Nevada, plunging up to 900 feet in certain areas. This depth combined with the lake's isolation and the secrets buried beneath its surface, has given rise to numerous ghostly legends. Among these, the most chilling are the tales of the mermaid who cursed the land, the restless spirits of a long-lost cavalry troop, and the haunting cries of the mysterious water babies. As you stand on the shores of Pyramid Lake, it's hard not to feel a sense of unease. The stillness of the water, the silence that hangs in the air, and the eerie formations that jut out of the lake all contribute to a feeling that something otherworldly lurks just beneath the surface. The Paiute people, who have called this area home for centuries, have their own stories to tell. Stories of tragedy, curses, and spirits that refuse to rest. These tales have made Pyramid Lake one of the most haunted locations in Nevada, a place where the past refuses to fade away and where the spirits of those who once lived here still make their presence known. In this story, we'll dive deeper into the haunted history of Pyramid Lake, exploring the legends that have made it a place of both awe and terror. From the cursed mermaid to the eerie water babies, each tale adds another layer to the lake's dark and mysterious reputation. So, as we begin this journey into the unknown, be prepared to uncover the secrets that lie hidden in the depths of Pyramid Lake, a place where beauty and horror are inextricably linked. Pyramid Lake's reputation as one of Nevada's most haunted locations didn't emerge overnight. It's a reputation that has been built over centuries, with each new generation adding its own stories to the growing lore. The Paiute people, who have lived in the region for thousands of years, were among the first to tell tales 
of the lake's eerie and supernatural nature. These stories, passed down through oral tradition, speak of curses, restless spirits, and dark forces that seem to inhabit the waters and the surrounding land. One of the most enduring legends is that of the cursed mermaid. According to the tale, a young Paiute warrior fell in love with a beautiful mermaid he discovered in the lake. Enchanted by her otherworldly beauty, he brought her back to his village, hoping to marry her. However, the tribe's elders were not as taken with the mermaid as the warrior was. They saw her as a bad omen, a creature that did not belong among them, and they demanded that she be returned to the lake. Heartbroken and enraged, the mermaid is said to have placed a curse on the lake and the surrounding lands, vowing that nothing but sorrow and misfortune would come to those who live there. Many locals still believe that this curse is the source of the lake's dark energy and the numerous tragedies that have occurred in the area over the years. Adding to this chilling history is the legend of the Pyramid Lake War, a conflict that took place in 1860 between the Paiute people and a group of settlers and miners. According to some versions of the story, the spirits of the cavalry troop that perished in the battle are still seen to this day. Witnesses have reported ghostly apparitions of soldiers on horseback, charging over the hills near the lake, seemingly locked in an endless battle. These sightings, often occurring on foggy nights, are a stark reminder of the violence and bloodshed that once stained the land. The lake's haunted history doesn't stop with these tales. Over the years, countless people have reported strange and inexplicable events while visiting Pyramid Lake. Fishermen have disappeared without a trace, only to be found days later under mysterious circumstances. Some believe that these unfortunate souls fell victim to the water babies, malevolent spirits said to inhabit the lake. These spirits, often described as ghostly childlike figures, are believed to lure unsuspecting victims into the water with their eerie cries and then drag them to a watery grave. This combination of ancient curses, violent history, and unexplained phenomena has solidified Pyramid Lake's reputation as a place where the supernatural is a part of everyday life. The lake's eerie stillness, the strange sounds that echo across its surface, and the frequent reports of ghostly encounters all contribute to the sense that Pyramid Lake is a place where the line between the living and the dead is thin indeed. As we continue our journey, we will explore the specific locations within and around the lake that are said to be the most haunted and the spirits that are believed to dwell there. Pyramid Lake is vast and mysterious, with its deep, still waters and eerie silence. But within this beautiful yet ominous landscape, there are specific places that are said to be especially haunted. These locations, steeped in legend and tragedy, are where many have encountered the restless spirits that call the lake home. One of the most notorious spots is the area surrounding the large pyramidal rock formation that gives the lake its name. This tufa rock, rising majestically from the water, is a landmark that draws visitors from all around. However, those who know the lake's dark history are aware that this rock is more than just a natural wonder. It is said to be the epicenter of the lake's supernatural activity. Local legends speak of the water babies, mysterious, malevolent spirits that haunt the waters near the rock. These spirits are said to mimic the sounds of crying babies to lure unsuspecting victims closer. Once they have drawn their prey near, the water babies are believed to pull them into the depths of the lake where they disappear without a trace. Fishermen and boaters have reported hearing the unsettling cries of infants in the dead of night, and some have even claimed to see small, ghostly figures playing near the water's edge before vanishing into the mist. Another haunted location at Pyramid Lake is the site of the Pyramid Lake War. Near this area, many have reported seeing the apparitions of soldiers still locked in battle. These ghostly figures are often seen at dusk, their silhouettes visible against the darkening sky. 
Some witnesses have described hearing the distant sounds of gunfire and the cries of men in pain, only for the noises to suddenly cease, leaving an eerie silence in their wake. These spectral soldiers are believed to be the spirits of those who died during the conflict, unable to find peace and condemned to relive their final moments for eternity. The area known as Stone Mother is another site of frequent paranormal activity. The Stone Mother is a rock formation on the shores of Pyramid Lake that, according to Paiute legend, represents a grieving mother who turned to stone after crying for her lost children. This area is considered sacred by the Paiute people, but it is also feared. Many believe that the Stone Mother watches over the lake and its spirits, and that those who disrespect the land are met with misfortune. Visitors to the site have reported feeling an overwhelming sense of sadness and dread, as if the grief of the Stone Mother is palpable. Some have seen shadowy figures moving among the rocks, while others have heard the soft, mournful wails of a woman in the distance. Beyond these specific locations, the entire lake is said to be a hotspot for ghostly encounters. Whether it's the water babies, the ghostly soldiers, or the sorrowful stone mother, Pyramid Lake is a place where the spirits of the past seem to linger, unwilling or unable to move on. For those who visit, the lake offers a beautiful but haunting reminder that some places are forever marked by the tragedies that have occurred there. As we continue to explore, we will delve deeper into the stories of these restless spirits and the experiences of those who have encountered them. As we delve further into the haunting tales of Pyramid Lake, the eerie encounters and supernatural phenomena associated with this mysterious body of water become even more unsettling. The lake's deep, dark waters hide secrets that have given rise to numerous ghostly legends and paranormal events. One of the most disturbing aspects of Pyramid Lake is the legend of the disappearing bodies. Despite the lake's impressive depth and the fact that it has no visible outlet, bodies have been reported to vanish from Pyramid Lake, only to resurface miles away in Lake Tahoe. This phenomenon has led to theories about subterranean tunnels connecting the two lakes, though no concrete evidence supports these claims. The idea of such a mysterious connection adds an extra layer of intrigue and fear to the lake's already haunted reputation. Visitors and locals alike have reported strange occurrences near the lake, such as sudden chills and unexplained movements in the water, which only heighten the sense of dread. Additionally, Pyramid Lake's ghostly inhabitants seem to be particularly active during the spring. This time of year is when the legend of the water babies reaches its peak. Fishermen who frequent the lake often tell tales of unusual experiences during the spring months. Many claim to hear the soft, eerie sounds of babies crying or laughing, even when no children are present. The sightings of these spectral infants are said to be more frequent in the spring, and the presence of the water babies is often felt more intensely. Those who hear these cries are warned by locals that bad luck may follow, and sightings are considered a dire omen. The lake's remote and isolated locations, such as the old fishing spots and abandoned cabins along the shore, also contribute to its haunted reputation. These places are often shrouded in mist and shadow, creating an atmosphere ripe for ghostly activity. People who have ventured into these isolated areas report feeling watched or followed, and some have even experienced sudden drops in temperature, a common sign of paranormal presence. The abandoned cabins, once bustling with activity, now stand empty and silent, except for the occasional whisper of the wind that sounds unnervingly like voices. Another unsettling aspect of Pyramid Lake is the phenomenon of sudden, inexplicable disappearances of those who venture too close to its waters. Over the years, several people have vanished without a trace, and their disappearances remain a mystery. Local legends suggest that these individuals might have fallen victim to the water babies or other malevolent spirits residing in the lake. Stories of these disappearances add to the lake's fearful allure, serving as a chilling reminder of the dangers lurking beneath its serene surface. As we conclude our exploration of Pyramid Lake's haunted history and ghostly tales, 
it's clear that this beautiful but foreboding location is a focal point of supernatural activity. The stories of disappearing bodies, ghostly cries, and eerie encounters paint a vivid picture of a place where the past continues to haunt the present. The legends and experiences associated with Pyramid Lake serve as a stark reminder that some places are forever marked by the shadows of their past. In our final part, we will draw together these threads of fear and mystery to reflect on the enduring legacy of Pyramid Lake's haunted reputation. As we reach the end of our journey through the haunting history of Pyramid Lake, it's evident that this tranquil yet eerie destination holds a deep and unsettling legacy. From its ancient origins to the chilling legends that persist today, Pyramid Lake remains one of the most mysterious and ghostly locales in Nevada. The lake's beauty is undeniable, with its dramatic tufa formations and serene waters creating a stark contrast to the dark legends that surround it. However, the stories of the water babies, the cursed mermaid, and the inexplicable disappearances cast a shadow over its picturesque landscape. These tales have become an integral part of Pyramid Lake's identity, blending local folklore with the supernatural. The enigmatic disappearances of bodies between Pyramid Lake and Lake Tahoe continue to baffle both locals and visitors. Whether driven by theories of hidden tunnels or simply by the lake's dark allure, these stories enhance the lake's eerie reputation. The idea that there might be a hidden, sinister force at work adds to the lake's mystique, making it a compelling subject for anyone intrigued by the paranormal. Furthermore, the reports of ghostly encounters, particularly during the spring when the water babies are most active, contribute to the lake's chilling atmosphere. Fishermen and explorers alike have encountered unsettling phenomena, from disembodied cries to sudden drops in temperature. These experiences underscore the notion that Pyramid Lake is not just a natural wonder, but also a site where the supernatural is a palpable and unsettling reality. The haunted cabins and remote fishing spots around the lake also play a significant role in the lake's ghostly reputation. These abandoned places, cloaked in mist and shadow, evoke a sense of foreboding and contribute to the belief that the lake is a gateway to otherworldly realms. The stories of those who have ventured into these areas and felt watched or followed only add to the lake's mystique. In conclusion, Pyramid Lake stands as a powerful reminder of how the past can linger and influence the present. The combination of its natural beauty and the dark legends associated with it creates a unique and haunting atmosphere. Whether one is drawn by the allure of its scenic vistas or the intrigue of its ghostly tales, Pyramid Lake offers a profound and unsettling experience that reflects the enduring power of folklore and the supernatural. As we wrap up our exploration, it is clear that Pyramid Lake's haunted history is as deep and mysterious as the lake itself. The legacy of the lake serves as a testament to the way that beauty and terror can coexist, forever intertwined in the annals of ghostly lore.